Hello, my name is Nicholas Van Landigam, and I am the creator of I Am Achieving It dot com or at I Am Achieving It or I Am Achieving It on Facebook. Um, this is a just a thing I made because I just think that a lot of individuals out there in this world uh, they don't necessarily realize what they're capable of doing, be it succeed, accomplish an insane goal. But I, I believe anybody's capable of anything, that we are the only ones that put limits on ourselves. Um, in the beginning of my accident back in 2012, I was, I was put in a position where I could let another individual's opinion on how my life is going to continue affect me. So I had three doctors, if anybody else has ever watched any of the other videos. These three doctors with 60 plus years experience started telling me that I'd be better written for the remainder of my life and all that other fun junk. Right now, about a little, little over two and a half years later, I'm up and walking, um, standing up on my own, uh, just dealing with pain and frustration. So I'm actually making this video uh, because a few individuals sent me private messages on how I deal with pain. So I'm going to try to make this quick, all right? It's pretty simple. Uh, I mean, my Holly, my girlfriend, hates when I use that term, pretty simple, because for some reason, individuals like to wrap themselves around how life is just hard. To be very honest with you, you don't know hard until your life gets harder. And then at that moment in time when you think your life can't get any harder, it gets a little bit harder, because that's how life is. It, it's just a curveball after curveball after curveball. The only way your life isn't going to be any harder is if you don't allow it to be. If you stop, you know, making it so. If you think your life is going to get hard, it's going to get harder. It's like karma, energy, or whatever you want to put out there. Um, spirituality. You put the negative out, it'll come right back to you. It's almost just simple. So anyway, uh, challenges. It's the fruit of life. You just gotta accept it, take a bite, big bite out of it, and just continue forth. Climb over that hill. So, back to it. So this is my very simple explanation as to how I deal with pain. All right, so breaking pain down. In my mind, pain can be broken down into millions of different descriptions. But I'm gonna stick with three. Physical, emotional, and mental, okay? Now, some people might wrap, wrap around, you know, mental and emotional, it's the same thing. No. No, it's not. You get mad without even thinking about it sometimes, or you get sad without thinking about it. Uh, emotion is its own thing. It's its own creature. It just comes out of nowhere. You don't have to think about it to, to, to witness it or to have it happen to you. So that's why I break those two apart. So, physical pain. How I deal with it? I turn myself into a hero. Yeah, it's just that simple. I look at life like, all right, I'm dealing with this pain. Nobody else can feel what I'm feeling. Um, you can't compare until they come out with some system that they can rig your body up to it. And it says, oh, this individual is dealing with pain one through a hundred, whatever. Then, and that will probably still be wrong. So no one's ever going to understand the pain that you're going through. So I don't compare my pain to your pain. I, at least I try not to. Uh, unless someone just decides to upset me and then I'm just like, okay, look at you and then look at me. You're up and running around. Life can't be that tough. So anyway, continuing on with the pain. I can I make myself a hero. I look at it like I need to press through this pain with a smile on my face for a couple main reasons. One being my daughters. Uh, my daughters are my heartbeats. They're my world. Um... Just recently, I was in a situation where my daughter was actually at school worried about what was going to happen to dad, uh, my future, who's going to take care of daddy. And that breaks my heart. I, I, I just, that right there. No parent should have to deal with their, their, their eight-year-old, let alone, or just a child, worrying about them when they should be worrying about what they're going to do for recess, what type of candy they're going to have that day, or... You know, the things in life that make being a child worth it, you know, 
You only, you're only a child for so long before you have to grow up and be thrown into this world of work and chaos and stress. You know, why take that away from them? So that's that that broke my heart. So um, I had a long discussion with my daughters about you know daddy's future and whatnot, and they're they're hopefully on board. And when it, I I don't like doing that, but but I talked to them about pain, and I talked to them about how I am fine, and that I am the toughest man that they're ever going to meet, because every daddy and every mother should be the toughest person that their kids know. Because if you aren't, then you're not doing your job as a parent properly. In my mind. Everybody out there has their own opinions, but in my mind, you should be your child's hero. It's just that simple. They need to look up to somebody. So, pressing on. I do it with a smile on my face. I came up with this quote that one of man's, and I use man as a term to describe humanity, so one of men, man's greatest achievements in life is to smile through adversity, pain, and fear. And I firmly believe that. Fear causes pain. Mental, physical, whatever. It can actually make you sick. Being so scared, it'll make you sick. And I've dealt with that throughout this. I, like, I actually had to overcome something. And I don't talk a lot about my fears because... My girlfriend thinks I'm fearless. My daughters think I'm fearless. And a lot of my friends think I'm fearless. They think I'm just crazy and will do anything. But to be very honest with you, everybody deals with, with fear. It's what you do with that fear that describes who you are. So after my injury, I had this insane fear standing up by myself. Falling. No one likes pain. Nobody likes pain. I mean, yeah, you got some weird individuals out there that love it. And I'm not judging you. But I don't. I'm not one of those individuals. I mean, I smile, and and I and I thrive on pain because it makes me feel alive, while I'm working out and whatnot. But it's not something I, you know, I'm weird about. So I make myself a hero through my pain. I smile. I know it hurts, and I laugh. Laughing actually almost convinces my brain that I'm fine, because pain, physical pain is a connection between your body and your head, okay? Your head's creating all these chemicals and and all these these uh, things that I'm not a doctor or anything, but it creates all this fun junk in your mind saying, ah, oh, you're in pain. And then your body's like, I'm in pain. And then you're, th you're throbbing and all that other fun stuff. So if your brain is telling your body that it's in pain because of a, a neurological feeling then why wouldn't you be able to convince your, your mind that you're not in pain? So, smiling. Uh, I smile through everything. I, I try to. It, it works. It works for me, at least. I don't know if it'll work for everybody else because uh, I have this, this weird thing about me that I just want to push harder. And smiling makes everybody around me think that I'm insane. <laughs> or or that I like it or that I'm invincible or that I doesn't matter what they throw at me I'm going to constantly try to over uh, you know achieve or should I say I'm sorry overcome it and I've been thrown into situations where they'll at PT they're like well you think you can do this let's do it and I'll have to overcome my fear of standing I'll have to overcome my fear of walking I'll have to overcome my fear of falling and I have those they're there and that's what that's it's healthy to have fear. A little bit of fear is healthy. So I overcome those. So I make myself a hero. I push through it. And that's how I deal with my physical pain. My mental pain, that's a different story. I get frustrated. I, I start thinking about what I should be able to do. I start thinking about what I was able to do before my accident. I start thinking about what I was able to do yesterday that I can't do today because of the amount of physical pain that I'm in. And my body just won't allow it to happen. So it's just... Any which way we look at it, my mind jumps all around. My mind's constantly thinking of the next step or what I can do at this moment in time. And bigger than that, why I can't accomplish it today. So it's all about the here and now when it comes to my mental pain. Um, today, I don't do this that often, but I had to call out a PT. Yesterday, last night, I did a little lap around my house for the first time in probably two, a good better part of two months because it's cold outside and I, I like walking outside, but cold and my body just do not mix. So I don't like walking indoors. 
I just don't. So I ended up walking around last night pretty quick. It did very well, actually. I was surprised. I was standing straight up. The muscles that I never really felt before were tightening up and being utilized. And so every, it, was, it was smooth. It worked out well. I went from my room, around the kitchen, back through the living room. As you can tell behind me, there's two doors. That's a little loop right there. So I did the loop, went back into my room, and for the first time ever, I was able to turn around with my walker and sit my butt down back in my chair. Never been able to do that before. So this morning when I woke up, my body hated me. Hated me. I'm in a lot of pain right now, and the only reason why I'm smiling through it is because I accomplished something that I haven't been able to. It's a step forward. It's a, and, and, and So physically, I accomplished something. Mentally, I'm not running a mile yet, so I haven't really accomplished anything. Um, that's that's the mile. That's the thing I have to get over. That huge mountain in my mind of I'm just not doing enough. So how I deal with that is uh, sometimes I, I throw a fit. I hate to admit it, but I get upset. I'm a redhead. As you can clearly tell. I have anger issues. I mean, everybody does. It doesn't matter what you know color your hair is or whatever. I just have this issue with myself and failure. I don't accept it. Mentally, I don't accept it. And so when I think about it, I don't feel like I accomplished that much, even though people are like, you accomplished great, the great things so far. So I get frustrated and I get to the point where I start doubting myself. In order to get over that self-doubt, I once again start turning back into the hero start turning back into the, the I will accomplish it. I, I have to try to pull myself out of that hole. I, I'm Depression's a real thing. Chemical imbalances, it, it happens. But I fight it because life is too short. I've, I've, I've died. I, I've almost not been here to hold my daughters again. So quitting now is just, I mean, one, I don't have anything else better to do. I'm going to school full time, but that only takes up so many, much of my day. I have nothing else better to do except for try to constantly achieve different things. So overcoming my mental thing, it's your mind. Okay, it's yours. It's not, you're not your mind. I mean, technically you are, I guess, but you control it. So you start getting down on yourself, there's no point. Right? When you start getting down on yourself, you might, as well just, you might as well just quit. And I'm not a quitter. I can't be a quitter. Because that would show my daughters that I'm a quitter. And they, they, they will think in life quitting is all right. And quitting is unacceptable in my mind. So I look towards them. I look towards my family, my support. And in my mind, I start thinking, then if I, if I do it right now, if I just give up, because there are times where I just want to give up, then people are going to look at this and they're going to think, well, okay, he was off to a good start, but then he, he just quit. Maybe it just got a little rough for him. And then they might start adding that to their lives. Oh, uh, life is rough because I got yelled at by my boss or I woke up this morning and I stubbed my toe. Oh, woe is me. No, life isn't bad. Life has its downs. I mean, it's ups and downs. It's like a sine wave. The thing is to find that happy medium where you're happy. Mine is to get to that point of the hill where I know I will continue. Okay, it's pushing past the 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 fear of of not accomplishing it. I have to push to the point where I know I'll just continue. You know, I I, I will push forward the next day. So as long as mentally I get to a certain point, I don't have to be perfect. But if I get to a point where I can smile again, if I can force a smile and a laugh out, and talk, I talk to myself all the time. I call it getting expert advice personally, but I talk to myself and I tell myself to stop, to stop. People around me, I don't care what they think. If they think I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself, life goes on. I have to verbally let my little you know, mind stop getting the best of me. I bring myself to a point where I can continue, smile, and life goes on. Life's always been rough, all right? That's life. So my emotional. Now, my emotional and my mental, they play a key role in each other. I get sad, I get angry, I get happy, and it goes to extremes sometimes. You can just ask my girlfriend. She literally just sits there and watches me go from extreme happiness to extreme anger to extreme sadness to just nothing. And so she's learned that my anger is directed towards me. It's not directed towards anybody else. 
It's not even directed towards life, really. It's directed towards me. She helps me. And by, you know, she doesn't really talk to me at the time because when I get that way, I just, no, there's no talking to me. Talking to me when I'm at that point is just useless. You might as well just be banging your head up against the wall. What she does is she literally just physically just puts her hands on my shoulders. It's, it, it almost reconnects me to the world, to, to reality. It's almost that simple. <laughs> there I go again, simple. Um, everybody goes through emotions. You, you're, you're human. You're going to go through love. You're going to go through hate. You're going to go through anger. You're going to go through sadness. You're going to go through happiness. You're going to go through everything because that's what makes you who you are. It's your emotional, you know, who you are is you cry during savvy movies or you get all pumped up during like Rambo or Die Hard. You know, that's, that's what makes you who you are is your emotions and your happiness. So that being said, when I get emotionally down and whatnot, I don't look at it like it's the end of the world. I look more of it as I've just got to bring myself back to Nick. I mean, I'm not anybody that knows me. I'm not, I'm not sad. I'm not usually that angry. I'm more determined and I'm more, you know, quick witted and, uh, happy smiling. And so that's, that's my center. This is my smile. It's, it's my focus because smiling through things is just what I like to do. So, that's how I deal with it. I mean, it's not a fast, quick process when I get in pain. I, it takes me a little bit to get out of it, physically. Uh, emotionally, that's, emotionally is the hardest one. My mind, I can get through, it's, it's fine. Physically, it's actually, it's not hard at all. Physical pain is not hard at all. I just need to take a deep breath and relax a minute. It's the emotional pain that I just, I have a hard time with. And that takes me a little bit. And that's when I need support from Holly. My daughters, uh, anybody that's close to me that knows me, or anybody, just for that matter, to you know, just for that fact, you know, that's when I just need someone to just bring me back down to earth. But that's how I deal with all those. Sorry for the rant. Um, uh, I just covered a lot, I guess. In my mind, it's simple. To others, it might not be. It's my life. Your life is just as simple to you. Your life shouldn't be that difficult. It shouldn't be that that fill up full of frustrations of, uh, of of tons of questions and stuff. Life is meant to enjoy. I mean, you're gonna have your pain, you're gonna have your frustrations, you're gonna have that because that's what life is. So, and trust me, you don't want to die. I've been there three and a half minutes. It just wasn't all that. I mean, it was. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of things that happen. Call it what you will. It wasn't all that bad. But I like being here. I like interacting with people. I like being around my daughters and my family, my support, my friends. So. That being said, if you have any questions whatsoever, private message me, uh, send me a comment, whatever. Uh, Twitter at I am achieving it. Um, I am achieving it on Facebook. I am achieving it at gmail.com. You can look me up on YouTube. All one word. I am achieving it! Exclamation point. You can find all my videos, including this long-winded rant. Um, so thank you very much, and uh, have yourselves a beautiful day. Bye.